Welcome back, everybody. It's time to lock down another Booster Cracking Sunday, and today we are opening up another little mini box of Rebirth of Legend. And uh, yeah, these things have been freaking awesome. I love this set. It is such an awesome little mini set. So I want to keep digging in and see if we can just find everything we want to find, all the full arts, all the cool foils. So let's dig into this box and see what we can get. I think we're looking for Shakti in this box. A nice full art foil of her would be nice. And then uh, we're gonna open this up and see what we can find as far as our J Ruler box topper goes. Uh, gonna be from the Epic of the Dragon Lord, which is usually the case. And there are a few that I'm missing from that set. So let's see, big reveal and oh, oh yes, yes. <laughs> this is the one I was wanting. This is the one I was wanting. Celestia Treasure Hunter. I never got her when I opened up the box. I am so glad I finally have her. I'm just gonna open her up because I wanna see this one. And it is going in a sleeve anyway. So there she is. Looking pretty sick. Love the artwork on that one. And look at that. It's got different artwork. You know, it's a nice transition piece. Very, very well done. That's how I like my J rulers. You gotta have some differences on the flip if you're gonna flip the card. But let's get into the first pack, shall we? And see what we can find. 10 packs, five cards, let's go. Let's see what's in our first little box here. We got Ferka, Celestia's Treasure. That's wonderful. We are to get a full art of that. We got Lumia, good card to get, even in the non-foil, as we do know. And let's see what's behind it. Melfi, Traveling Sorceress, wonderful. We don't have her. We do not have her. This is great. Perfect, look at that card. Oh, these are so nice, man. I can't get over how nice this set is. I'm gonna be sad when I do finally finish out the rest of these boxes. But in case you didn't know, another just reminder, if you're new here, I got a whole case of these suckers. If you haven't checked out the previous videos of me opening these up, go check those out. But I'm gonna be sprinkling these little mini booster box openings over the next few weeks. So stay tuned for that. Subscribe so you can see me open up the rest of these boxes. All right, next pack, let's get into it here. We got our nice little panda on top, Melfi, which we just got a full art of. Ragnarok Fiery Stone, a good card to get as well. We got Grim and Pandora, uh, not as valued. Uh, everything's kind of come down on prices now in both the new sets that came out, so things are starting to even out a little bit more. A beautiful looking card though, I'll take it, that is cool. Next one, let's get into it. We got the treasure card again, that is perfectly fine. We got uh, Abel, not worth anything. Freyla, I'll take another Freyla. Hey, yes, man, I'm calling it. And these boxes just provide, man. You're like, yeah, I want this car. And they're like, here you go. Here you go, you can have it. We don't care. It is such a cool card though. Look at that. Look at those reds and purples. So, so cool. Really well done. And I don't, I don't it's just a really good character. Really good card to get. Next pack, let's get into it here and find some more cool character cards, which would be nice. Man, is there anybody else that I'm missing? I don't even know. Marabella, another good card to get, even in an odd foil. I'll take another one of those, though. Kirix, Training Ground, ground Training Ground, uh, just, just Training Grounds, just Training Grounds. Uh, I don't think this one's got a ton of value. It's got a couple bucks, maybe like $3. I don't know. Ooh, I'm gonna have to like line up all the full arts of all the cards in this set when I finish opening up all these cases and just line them all up nice just to take a look at all 25 cards. Abel, we got Flute and Sylvia Lilias, very good, very good. Let's see what's behind it. We got Prissia again, Seeker of, what is it? Seeker of Friends, Seeker of Friends Prissia, which is a cool, very cool card. I really do like it. And uh, nice foil, a good one to get, $10, $12 card, something like that, nice. Boom, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go now. We got the Training Ground, normal. Uh, the Demon Castle, I don't think I've gotten that in the full art yet. We've gotten him, we've gotten Lars, Ragnarok, Rock, I do just, it is such a mesmerizing card. It is so cool. I'll take these all day. They've got to be getting played, right? Is this card getting played? I hope it is because it is worth getting played in this full art. Let me know in the comments below what decks are you running and do they include cards from Rebirth of Legend? And if so, which ones? Let me know in the comments. I'm curious to see what's getting played from this set right now in the meta. Oh, trying to spoil the end. We got Kane, we got Lunia, Master Guide, and we got Lumia. The cover girl herself, Princess of Rebirth, as our nice foil, which is perfect. We didn't get a foil of her yet, so I am very happy about this one. It is such a cool card. 
look at that artwork so great next one getting oh it doesn't it doesn't want to open wow okay well here we go we got it now we got abdul we got our pearl shine man we got dracula which is another decent one i think it's gone down to like seven dollars something like that but i'll take it and then we got kane top two of the light palace uh we don't really care too much about you, Kane. I did see you were like maybe 250 now, but that's okay. We'll take it. Last two packs. Let's start with this one and see how we can finish this thing off with a Melfi, with a Ferica, with a Celestia's Tremendous Treasure Trove, and a Shakti. Nice, nice. Just the normal version behind it. Yes, yes, Rezard. I forgot about him. He was one I was missing for a full art. So this is going to be a good one. I think he's like 12 bucks. He dropped a little bit in price too, but he is looking sharp. Looking sharp with that background behind him is looking really nice with the foiling. Oh man, very nice. Very well done, Rezard. Very well done. We should be seeing a very nice looking box for us here with our totals at the end of this. But let's jump into the last one and see how we can finish this out. If we can finish out strong, we got Grimm and Pandora. And I, <laughs> see, I said I said we didn't get the, Deman uh, the Demonic Castle yet and it had to throw it to us. So I don't know the value of this one, but look at the shine of those purples and blacks. Oh, you got it. You just got to admire it, man. It looks so cool. They did such a good job. Going over some polls of the day, just going through them really quickly here. Of course, we got our nice J Ruler that we got as the box topper. Celestia, Treasure Hunter, which should be probably like an $18 card or something. That really helps with the price of these boxes. Just getting this nice J Ruler is awesome. Uh, behind that, we've got Ragnarok Stone. Very cool card. Shakti, I don't know where she's at with the full art. I'm sure she's got a little bit of value, maybe $4, $5, maybe more, but I'm not going to say that for sure. Melfi, though, as well. Same kind of deal. Very good though. Rezard, again, should be like a 12 bucker. Prisia, very good. These Marvel rares in the foils do hold some value. And of course, we got the Lumia, Princess of Rebirth as our nice foil. Super cool. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you guys again for checking it out. Again, check out the latest videos of all the booster crackings on Sunday. And yeah, stay tuned for more. If you don't know, I've got a lot of Force of Will rare sets in behind me and other cool nonsense that we've been doing. Uh, also with the Rebirth of Legends coming up in the upcoming weeks as little bonus videos. Subscribe and stay tuned for that. Leave a like and thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys in the next video.